Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cryptoware. Today we are going to deobfuscate yet another sample which may look slightly difficult but it actually is not that difficult. So um, let's get started. This is a recent sample. I'll share the hash with you. You can download it from VirusTotal or Malwarebazaar or any any other website whichever is convenient for you where they upload samples related to the recent ones older ones for your analysis and again make sure that you're performing the analysis in a sandbox environment even though it is static right now but make sure you're still doing it in a sandbox environment so moving ahead, if you see, the sample seems to be written in some other language, but there are certain things over here which we can definitely see and identify that something is going on. Scrolling down, you can see that there is some encoded text which may be something related to um, some malicious activity or malicious intent or some embedded text or file but it says x509 so maybe not let's check it out for now so first thing first we are going to copy the entire file to a different um, tab so that we do not mess around with the uh, original batch file so in case any error comes while performing the deobfuscation or we miss out anything or any variable or any character we can always get back to the original one so as i had mentioned before as well the goal of performing deobfuscation especially statically is to make it less uh, messy because sometimes it's really not possible to deobfuscate a sample entirely so in those cases we try to extract as much information out as possible from those samples so here if we check there is at the rate echo of com com we are not sure of what it is right now so here you can see that at the rate is here e is there also we observed some yeah, some file paths over here, which is some yano.txt and something over here. So we are not sure of what it could be. As of now, there's error level, but it is present within. Another thing, we can see a lot of these things within percentage. And if you happen to see if they have been, you know, uh, if they're present anywhere else in the document, uh, in the file, it's not. You can check this one as well within the percentage ones. So here we are trying to figure out what is this. So it also has one match. Even this one randomly I have chosen from here. Even it has one match. So in a batch file, mostly if you have written anything within percentages, that means that you are calling a variable. But in case there is no variable declaration, so in those cases, nothing will happen. They won't make any sense and they won't even mostly throw errors. So they are just there. And that is how they have actually performed the obfuscation. So we need to remove everything which is present within this percentage. So we can simply uh, click on the backspace button and we can try doing that. And you can see that as I am doing this, we are actually coming up with something. Right now it's echo. So it does make us feel that there are a lot of things over here. But doing this manually would be really um, a complicated thing. It will be tiring. It will take some time. So I'm using Sublime text. And this feature is not only present in Sublime, but in other uh, IDEs also like in I think in notepad plus plus it's also possible so I'm using regular expressions here so I'll just click on control H and I'll select the option for regular expressions and I would And I would just simply put percentage dot star and question mark so that just a minute, I just moved. So percentage dot star, sorry, star and 
question mark and closing it with percentage so what does it mean it is that anything within these two percentage should be removed along with the percentage so as you can see that it got selected over here okay so this is just a simple regular expression um you can take help of google so you can or maybe if you regularly do all these things so you'll remember how to do this and i'll just replace it with nothing and i'll click on replace all and we have actually made it completely clean because there are no such strings available except for this encoded string so we will be dealing with it later on after a while but right now our goal is to understand we have deobfuscated and it was pretty simple one as i said that it really looked very gibberish but the things that you have to identify is like how to understand which part of the code is really not needed a lot of times they would put uh, comments in between and if you are not much acquainted with batch files batch scripting or any kind of scripting it gets difficult so they just make it more visually difficult for the um an analysts to perform the analysis so it was not that difficult at this case so this was quite simple one but you could see that if you have to do this manually it would take really a long time and you may or may not extract out the correct information because you may miss some characters because as you can see the characters are in between in such a way that it's really not very clear lot of times because in between they have all they might have also put some other uh, characters or some other um along apart from text text characters there could be backslash because they have also mentioned path over here colon colon path double quotes so it would really get difficult to do it manually you can write your own code or you can simply perform this uh, the uh, find and replace option using regular expressions that i did so that really helps so we will just go through the sample a bit to understand what it is probably trying to do so here it is using extract 32.exe so it is a genuine uh, application so using this it is trying to extract uh, command.exe into alpha.exe and this null things have been used so that which whatever happens it is not much visible so when this code runs because of all these because of echo of the user will not be able to identify or understand if anything is happening again since this is alpha now this command.exe so it uses again 32.extract32.exe to extract cert user.exe into kn.exe again it is done uh without any uh, visibility without any noise maybe you can see again it is using this command and using this cert util and using this it is decoding something in hex and here this means that it is mentioning itself the file itself so it is talking about decoding the hex so most probably this could be one but this is not in the hex format let's see and using it in uh, putting it in yano.txt and then again all the same things have been used decode hex have been used again for yano.txt to decode it and then uh, name it as yano. com again the null has been used for the same reason so that we don't identify and it runs yano dot com it starts it e starts executing it and using this it de deletes yano dot txt it deletes kn dot exe and it deletes alpha dot exe and everything silently and it exists so basically when it is referring to itself so it is loading a file and it is trying to execute it now this is base 64 encoded okay so what we will do is and it's really a very huge file as you can see so what we will do is we'll extract just this base 64 and 
put it over here like in a different file as you can see and we'll remove all these now base 64 string since it is a base 64 string what we need is we have to put them into one single line so it will be a huge one not such separate lines so you have to remove all the lines so what you can do in this case is you can <clears throat> simply use I have, you can simply use a batch, uh, like I have used a bash script or you can again use regular expressions so that you can, you know, I'll show you the bash or I can use sublime for the same. So this is a very simple file, uh, simple code, simple script, sorry. So mal.txt, so I have already saved uh, I have so I have already saved this base 64 string into mal.txt and after doing so basically if you have any space also it will remove the space also and it will remove any um, tabs or new lines as well and it will store it in temp file so which is temp.exe and mal.txt is this one. So we'll simply run bash.sh and we can see temp.txt over here which is in one line as you can see from number one over here instead of this. And you can simply base 64 decode it. It's the name temp.txt base 64 hyphen d is something that you can do and as i said you can put it in decoded text and we can see what the decoded text here now looks like okay so if you have performed analysis before, you can definitely identify that this is possibly a PE executable. So the bash, uh, sorry, the batch script that we have over here. Yeah, sorry. So the bash, uh, batch script that we have is basically loading and executing. So it's loading a portable executable file and it is executing it so here you can see the magic numbers here so when you now you have to hex decode it so for hex decoding it you can simply use this command xxd uh, this utility is something that you can use to decode it into output underscore hex or any whichever name that you prefer so this output underscore hex, if you check, it is a portable executable. You can see file command also tells this is portable executable. If you want to see through strings, we can check some strings over here. And it is definitely a portable executable. So maybe later we can analyze this PE sample as well. And one thing that we have identified is how batch file can actually load portab uh, portable executables in, and can execute them. And you might even not be aware of how it is doing. So you might think of it as some kind of certificate over here but it is actually not so it is just trying to use the coded encoded text over here the which is present below so that's it for today please like share and subscribe to my channel i hope you like um, you're liking the uh, videos that i am making uh, so this was a very uh, simple deobfuscation Yet it looked a bit complicated in the beginning, but if you observe very uh, minutely, you can actually identify how to deobfuscate it without, you know, investing much time into it. There are other ways also, like you can actually use uh, batch 
scripting to debug it dig debug it so it won't take much time so you can actually perform those things as well later on we'll be actually performing this deobfuscation uh in a different way as well right now we are just learning the static part so see you in the next video and thank you so much bye